What is up, people of God? How y'all doing today? I pray y'all are well and y'all are blessed and in mighty favor. So today, 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 people of God, what I'm here to speak to y'all about is how it's time for a change, people of God. I won't be on here long, I'll tell you this. We need to get to the place, people of God. It's no more talking. It's no more words. It's no more things, people of God, that I can say to you that can advance you in the kingdom. But the choice that you are willing to make today. You have heard, you have heard, and you have heard. But the thing is, people of God, are we willing to be doers of it? It says that the kingdom comes by hearing the word of God. And that comes from the renewal of your mind, right? But the thing is this, people of God, as your mind is renewed, what are you doing with it? Because I tell you this, people of God, I don't know about you, but today, just as the Lord spoke, that he didn't come just to save the world. He came to separate the husband from their wives, the mother from their the mother from the daughter, the father from the son. Just as the Lord says, anyone loves their mother or this thing or that thing, their father, their son, whomever that it is, more than him is not worthy of him. So I tell you this, people of God. We have to stop straggling along the fences. We have to stop saying that I'm with the Lord, but I want to do the worldly activities. Now, I tell you this, people of God, because of this, I asked the Lord, what do you want me to speak about? And he gave me the story of the son of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was a king but not at first he was a servant and elijah the prophet came to anoint him and make him king over israel because the people that god had chosen which was david's descendants they were under the spell of jezebel they surrendered to jezebel and i want to give you this this is like people of God. This is in today's age, people of God. A lot of people don't want to suffer for the righteousness sake because they don't want to seem as if they're spoiling the party. But I'll tell you this, people of God, you must stand. You have to. You have to willing to suffer for the righteousness of God. The son of Jehoshaphat began to start his journey as king. The Lord told him to eliminate his enemies, people of God. And people of God, I want you to notice that you have to take this time seriously because people of God, you are on a mission. People of God, the reason why that you don't see authority and power in your life, people of God, is not because you don't have it in you. Not because you don't believe that you have it in you. But it's because, people of God, you want that dominion and authority for your life and yourself. And the Lord says, people of God, that you shall lay go lay hands on the sick. So we have to get out of the selfishness, the entitlement of what that you want to do. And people of God, we must enter people of God unto the place Paul our brother Paul put it like this he says that I shall suffer he says that pour my body out pour my life out as an offering so why aren't we seeing this today I want to tell you this people of God because people of God I want you to make your decision today I want you to make your decision today Will you choose the life that was always written about you? 
are you okay with the outcome of no matter how your life looks or how like how your life will end everybody wants a perfect story on how they want to lead this earth but the question that you have to ask yourself is this am i going off of my thoughts or am i going off of god thoughts so father in the name of jesus i pray right now by your spirit the talking is over with the talking is done lord the milk is done father now let your people have meat let your people father be in serenity father because of what you have given us to do may we carry out our assignments father we break all chains of lukewarmness father may we suffer for the kingdom in your righteousness just as you said because we are children of god we choose our inheritance we choose our anointing today father we shall look to no other place but the lord jesus amen i want to tell you this too you say people of god that you're in the kingdom but you don't understand this the kingdom was not built when you got in the kingdom the kingdom was built the kingdom of God was built on the Lord's blood. Who? Jehoshaphat. He, son of Jehoshaphat. He conquered all of the Lord's enemies one by one. And this is the thing, people of God. This is the part that got me the most. He had to destroy David's descendants. He had to destroy the ones that was under Jezebel. Because... They submitted unto her. They feared her more than God. I want you to notice, people of God, is this. Stop looking how people view you. Stop wondering what they thinking about you. Stop wondering if I do this, will I mess up? And God is saying that he chose you. He appointed you to do these things, people of God. Get out of your mind and start doing it today. Amen.